You wouldn't think it was that unusual for a young man of 20 to run cross country or to excel as a tennis player, unless that young man was 90% paralyzed at 10 months old. 20 years ago, Chris McKeon's mom noticed her baby had balance problems and couldn't sit up anymore. Their primary care physician sent them to Dr. Karen Kerman. I was so worried about Chris and, uh, you know, concerned for his life that I uh, asked his mother to take him immediately to Hasbro Children's Hospital. He had a very large head size, nearly the size of a two and a half year old's head. He was having signs of increased intracranial pressure and I knew that we needed to act very quickly. I wasn't sure at that moment what kind of growth he might have, what kind of obstruction. It was the size of a softball ball, and it was a choroid plexus papilloma. It is a tumor that produces excessive fluid, and in fact, it was contributing to his condition in the hydrocephalus. Surgeons successfully removed Chris's tumor. That was the good news. But the prognosis was that he was 90% paralyzed. He certainly had evidence for weakness in the face, the left arm, and the left leg. We were worried about his ability to use that side and knew that we needed to be very aggressive with our therapy. Over the course of his 20 years, Chris endured 14 years of physical therapy, 14 years of occupational therapy, and eight years of speech therapy. When he was between four and six years old, where we really were like, oh, the limp isn't there. And even Dr. Kerman would say, look at that, his gait. You know, he, he was moving his legs a little bit better. In spite of his challenges, Chris seemed to have an innate spirit and willpower that allowed him to grow and thrive from childhood through adolescence. I surprise myself every day by what I do. I mean, if you told me four years ago I'd be playing T two sports in college, doing everything else I'd be doing, um, I would have said, I would have said you're crazy. My senior year in high school, I was 17-0. My team was 17-0, and we won the state championship. I'm a member of the Mitchell College cross-country team. And then in the spring, I play tennis. And I remember freaking out when he was going into first grade, saying, how is he going to carry his tray? Hi, Chris. Great to see you. Dr. Kerman has followed Chris with the same interest as a family member. It's a 20-year bond that will never be broken. She's been there since the beginning. She was always there to make sure that I was great in every aspect of my life. Dr. Kerman is amazing. She has been his guardian angel this whole time. She, this is when I get my, get my get a little teary-eyed when I think of Dr. Kerman, but she is um, she just doesn't look at the patient, she looks at the family as a whole. As one of Chris's caregivers, you know, I feel very honored and very lucky to have been able to follow him for 20 years. You know, Chris is just a very special person who uh, took a disability and made it an ability. My dream is either to work at ESPN, to be an anchor or broadcaster, or work at a college in their communications department. It's a dream that is possible because of hard work, determination, and devoted caregivers at Hasbro Children's Hospital. They really helped me to where I am today, from the care of Dr. Kerman to everyone that in between from therapy to everyone else. It's truly an amazing place.